Hey everyone, Omar here from Tomago and Friends, and today we're making fish and chips. Normally, you can use cod, however, we're using tilapia today. I take all my fish contents out of the bag and then place them inside of a bowl. I'm cutting the fish down the middle to help with cook time and overall cook on the fish. Once all your fish are halved, put them in the refrigerator and wait. Let's get started on our potatoes. First, you're going to square off your potato. After squaring off your potato, cut them into half inch segments or however you choose. Once they're in their segments, cut them longwise to make fries. When all your potatoes are cut, put them in cold water and refrigerate for an hour. Let's get our frying batter ready. In a bowl, you're going to add a cup of flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, some paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, Old Bay seasoning, kosher salt, and then beer. Preferably use Mexican lager if you can find it. Give this a good mix and then place inside the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Once everything is ready, remove them all from the refrigerator and move over to your oil. Pat all your fish dry and then place inside your batter. For frying your fish, you want to make sure your oil is at around 375 degrees. Give it a toss, make sure it's evenly coated, and then place inside your fry oil. Your fish should not take no more than 4-5 to five minutes, but you're looking for a nice, crispy, golden exterior on your fish. When you see less bubbles, remove your fish from the oil. Repeat this until all your fish is cooked. When your fish is off of the oil, place inside of a napkin or paper towels and salt them. Moving over to our chips. Heat vegetable oil up to 300 degrees. Do not let it go higher than that. Fry your oil in batches until you start to see them become a little golden or limp. Once golden, remove from the oil and place on a drain paper towel. Cook all your chips into the state. Once your chips are done, go ahead and turn the oil up to 400 degrees. You see me constantly checking the temperature for this because you're doing a double fry method. It gets them really crispy. When your oil is 400 degrees, place the fries back into the oil and let them sit there for about five minutes. You should start seeing a golden, crispy texture on the fries. Remove and drain. And salt. And there you have it, some classic fish and chips. You can have some lemons on the side, it adds a little bit of flavor to there. Dip it in whatever sauces you want. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and comment down below. What do you want to see us make next? My name is Omar and this is Tomago and Friends. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.